Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into something super exciting. Google Gemini is now free for students. If you've been wondering how to use Gemini for your studies, research, or even personal projects without paying a single dollar, this video is for you. Stick with me till the end, because I'll show you exactly how to sign up, what features you get, and some hidden tips to get the most out of Gemini as a student. So first things first, what exactly is Gemini? Gemini is Google's AI assistant, built to help you write, code, summarize, brainstorm, and even generate creative content like essays, emails, or project outlines. Think of it as your personal study partner, always of Google 24 7 It's similar to ChatGPT, but because it's deeply connected with Google Workspace tools like Doc, Slides, and Gmail, it feels more natural for students who are already with products. Now, here's the big question. Why is Gemini free for students? Google wants to support education and learning. Students are often exploring, writing essays, doing research, or preparing for exams, and Gemini can speed up all of that. Instead of charging right away, Google has rolled out a free plan for students so they can experience Gemini without worrying about monthly subscriptions. This is similar to how many companies give students free or discounted access to premium tools, because today's students are tomorrow's professionals. Okay, let's talk about the important part, how to actually claim Gemini for free. First, you need a student email address provided by your school or university. Usually, it ends with that is you, AC, or something similar. Go to the Google Gemini page, sign in with your student account. If your institution is partnered, you automatically get access to the free plan. If your school isn't partnered yet, don't panic you can still use the free Gemini tier, which comes with a lot of useful features, just with some daily usage limits. So, what exactly can you do with Gemini as a student? Let's break it down. Homework help. Ask Gemini to explain math problems, historical events, or scientific concepts in simple words. Essay writing. With outlines, structure, and even citation help. Presentations. Generate slides, titles, and summaries for class presentations. Research support. Summarize non academic papers or articles. Coding projects. If you're a computer science student, Gemini can help debug code or explain algorithms. Basically, Gemini can cut hours of work into minutes time to focus on understanding instead of just typing. Here are some pro tips to get the boost out of Gemini. Be specific in your prompts. Instead of saying help with history, say explain two causes in under 200 words for a high school essay. Use Gemini directly inside Google Docs to polish your writing. Say your favorite prompts so we can use them later. Combine Gemini with Google Scholar for accurate academic sources. And that's it. Gemini is free for students, and it's one of the most powerful tools you can use right now to boost your productivity, save time, and improve your learning. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with your classmates. Drop a comment below if you've already tried Gemini. I'd love to know your experience. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. How to actually claim Gemini for free as a student? Don't worry. I'll walk you through everything step by step, so you don't miss a thing. So first things first, you'll need to have a student email address that's officially issued by your school, college, or university. This is super important, because Google uses this to verify that you're currently enrolled. In most cases, the email ends with something like edu, that ac, school, or it might even be a custom domain your university uses. For example, your name at universitynameedu If you don't have one yet, check your school's IT department or student portal. They can usually issue or reactivate your official email in just a few minutes. Once you have that, here's what to do next. Go to the Gemini website, simply search Google Gemini on Google and click the official link that takes you to gemini.google.com. Make sure it's the real Google site, not a third-party link, 
because you'll be signing in with your school credentials. Sign in using your student account. When you do this, Google automatically checks if your institution is part of the education program that supports Gemini Access. If your school is already partnered with Google Workspace for Education, congratulations, you'll instantly see that you have Gemini for Education or Gemini Advanced Access at no cost. You can start using it immediately inside Google Docs, Gmail, and other Workspace apps. If your school isn't partnered yet, don't panic. You can still use the free version of Gemini, which gives you access to almost all the basic features like writing help, summarizing, brainstorming, and simple coding tasks. The only difference is that the free tier may have some usage limits per day, and it might not include the most advanced AI models like Gemini 1.5 Pro. Now, here's a helpful tip. If your institution doesn't yet offer Gemini for students, you can recommend it to your school administrators. Google has an official sign-up page for educational institutions, where IT teams can request access for their students. That means if enough students express interest, your school could join the program and unlock premium features for everyone, completely free. You can also try logging in through your Google Workspace for Education account if your school uses Gmail for class. Many schools already have access to Gemini inside Google Docs, but students just haven't noticed it yet, look for the Help Me Write button or Gemini logo in the toolbar. Clicking that opens Gemini directly inside your document, where you can ask it to rephrase, summarize, or even outline your essay. Another thing to keep in mind, if you're outside the US, Google is still rolling out the free student access region by region. So, if you don't see the free plan yet, Check back in a few weeks, or try switching your language and region settings to match your school's official location. Finally, for extra benefits, connect your Gemini account to Google Workspace for students. That's the same account you use for Drive, Docs, and Meet. This lets Gemini personalize results for you based on your assignments or previous documents, but still keeps your data private under your school's security policies. So to sum it up, make sure you have your student email. Head to gemini.google.com. Sign in and check if your school is partnered. If not, use the free tier or talk to your admin about joining. It's that simple, and once you're in, you've got a powerful AI assistant at your fingertips without paying a single cent.